colored content exclusive. Hi, it's Big Hello. And I'm here with Brittany Coleman Hi. from the web series Coming Home. Mm -hmm. So I have some questions to ask you. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> okay, so the first question is, what inspired you to create the web series? Ooh, what inspired me? Um, it's it's based uh, loosely based off of my personal life, an incident that I went through um, dating a guy who was in prison. Me and him uh, were in a relationship before he went in um, and continued the relationship while he was away. Mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so you star in the show. You're the main character. Yeah. How does starring in the series affect the affect the way you craft the story? Uh, it because I I lived um being a prison wife. Some people would say, and I always think about the women myself and, and the women that I know who um have a a guy in jail. So I. I Whereas my um, co-writer, he he doesn't see it from that end. He's never been in prison, and you know he hasn't dated anyone in prison. So he, he, sometimes he'll he'll say some things. I was like, no, that's that's not how it was. Or we we have to stick to being real instead of um, what we see on TV a lot of times. So more of trying to get an authentic story than trying to make it fun for other people to watch. Like you want to be authentic to what you feel is, is your experience. Exactly, yes. Okay, so moving kind of to another question. Mm -hmm. Loyalty and trust seems to be common themes throughout the series. Why did you choose to play heavily on those themes? Um, it, it's a, loyalty and trust are both two things that uh, I think are really intriguing when people watch certain things, um, especially when it comes to like Scandal, which is one of my favorite shows. Um, and it just really pulls at people's heartstrings. They really go hard for someone that is loyal and that you can trust. And then when it makes a detour, you, you get all the tweets and everything, you know, everyone's tweeting so hard about it. So I, I really wanted to focus on loyalty and trust and how certain secrets change those loyalties. Yeah, I don't want to like spoil stuff <laughs> you haven't watched, but I'm like kind of shocked at Mahogany. I'm like, really? <laughs> um, Everyone says that. Watch it, you'll totally see some things and you'll be like, why is that mm -hmm. so? Being a media maker of color, how did, how has digital media been a game changer? Oh, um, as an actress of color, I was not getting the roles that I wanted, or at least just getting into the room to audition for roles. And, um, you know, they always, they meaning people who, who put out the castings, it's always the girl next door. And unfortunately, black girls are not viewed as the girl next door. And I, and I was talking to my mentor, who's a woman of color and an actress, and she was like, you know, you just got to write your own, your own work. And um, I look to Issa Rae a lot um, as she's a woman of color creating her own her own space in the digital realm. And I, it, it's really a huge game changer. Game changer. Um, Issa Rae has, you know, shows on HBO now and she's writing for a different place. And I really look to her as a, as a, like an idol and a mentor in my head, so to speak. And for me, for my career personally, I just started. So I'm really hoping that this can be a boost in, in my acting career. I mean, I think so. If people watch it, they'll see the quality um, in the story and the acting, um, as well as just the cinematography and, mm -hmm. and what level you guys have done just in your first season. So Thank I you. think that's commendable. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What was the biggest struggle creating the series? Oh, so many big struggles, so many. Um, the biggest one was casting casting uh, for Ryan and for Calvin. Ry we found Ryan, who is played by Riley Smith, via Instagram. 
Um, but we had put tons of casting out for him. And just the people that were auditioning just did not fit the look that I was going for. Um, so casting was a big obstacle for me for the male roles. The female roles were pretty easy. I actually found um, Zoe, played by Whitney Johnson, who's uh, Mahogany's best friend in the show, uh, in the same acting class where I wrote Coming Home. So it's pretty easy t- for that. But casting and then now scheduling shoots has been a big a big uh, obstacle for us. Um, I've done a few of these interviews so far, and someone else was saying scheduling, because mm-hmm. everyone has a different schedule, Yes. Um, especially with acting. You're probably maybe doing something else while acting, um, so they said it was difficult. So mm-hmm. um, probably going to be a lot of people's issue, <laughs> yes. especially if other people are trying to do the same thing. It's about scheduling. Yes. But it seems like you can make it work if you really believe in the project and your cast believes in it, too. Yes. It's it's hard because when you're not um, when you're not paying um, actors at the moment, it, it's really hard. They they may take other gigs to to make extra money, which is you know definitely understandable. And then just trying to find locations if you you know if you're not doing things that are accessible to you. I mean, I could totally see that, and I'm <laughs> creating web series too. I mean, it's a reality yeah. show kind of different, but still finding locations and yeah. finding people who want to work with you is hard, especially yeah. on a budget, zero, yes. like zero to a hundred possible. Zero. <laughs> um, like zero in a prayer. Exactly. So <laughs> I totally understand. Mm-hmm. Um, if there was one message you would like people to get from the show, what would it be? Um, one message. Oh, that message would I would say um, be careful with the company you keep <laughs> when it comes to that show. Be careful with the company you keep. If you watch the show, guys, you'll know exactly what you're <laughs> saying. Yeah. I mean, but either way, you still have to, you know, you still have to keep being very, but, Yeah. Uh, I can't say anything, but guys, <laughs> watch. watch it. <laughs> <laughs> what can the Coming Home fans expect next? Oh, a lot of secrets. A lot of secrets. You'll see a, uh, a lot of change um, in, in certain characters. And you're going to be surprised by um, what you see. We, we really kicked it up a notch. Um, a couple of people who, well, the actors, we had a table read and everyone was like, what just happened? <laughs> so that, that was a great feeling when they just to watch them read it. It was great. So I, mean, I have like the fans. I have like speculations of what's gonna happen. <laughs> like, what are they? I Tell me. I want to hear. This person is here, and I think this is what's gonna happen. But I can't say it. We'll say it after. So. <laughs> okay. Um, after show, you know that mm-hmm. it's totally it. Um, do you have anything else you want to plug? Um. So coming home is under the Dope Ego um, umbrella. Dope Ego is um, the parent company. It's, it's myself. It's owned by myself and my partner, Dwayne. And we have other web series coming out. We have a dating web series and a short film as well. Uh, we will premiere the um, season two at the end of this month and have a New York premiere. So look out for dates on the New York premiere. Okay, NYC, me too, because I'm I'm in Brooklyn. Oh, yay, great, yay. (laughs) Um, Everybody, please check it out. You're going to be shocked at what you see. And then you're going to want season two, so you can make sure whatever you speculated happened. Even in the comments, (laughs) people are speculating. They're like, why he had a folder? Right. (laughs) Yeah, like, why are you doing it? Who is this? (laughs) Who is that at the do- mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyways, <laughs> um, it was great chatting with you. Yes, thank you. Um, talk soon. Bye. Bye.